I'm Sue Starr, and I've been uh, associated with the Eastern Music Festival for many years, and I frankly am afraid to count them, but it's at least 20. Joan Bleetenthal called and asked me if I would serve on the board. And of course I said, oh, I couldn't do that. And she said, yes, I think you could. So I said, okay, I'll do it. Uh, and I did it for quite a long time and uh, gradually began to understand how EMF worked, uh, which uh, took a while. There are a lot of moving parts to EMF, but it's it's fascinating and it's been a very, very interesting time for me. I think I did some fundraising and I was president for a term and uh, just, I did whatever was important to be done at that point. And, but I guess the most thing I did was I went to the concerts and enjoyed them tremendously. One Saturday evening, uh, I put on a special gown and stood before the audience and asked them to support EMF and to give money that we were in dire straits and we needed their help and they responded fabulously it was wonderful and uh, I think uh, $400,000 I think was raised and the newspaper helped us out and everything it was it really was the way to go the way and and since then We've had some down moments, but in all, it's been much better. I really would like to see the Eastern Music Festival be the premier music festival in the Southeast. I mean, there are people in Greensboro, many people in Greensboro, who simply don't know what the Eastern Music Festival is. And, uh, and then that's that number grows as you leave town. So I think that if we can begin to spread the word and spread the, the news about the music and how wonderful it is, and uh, if we could grow like that. One of the things I think about is how difficult it was originally to get my husband to, to go to the concerts. He would go because he was trying to be nice to me, I guess, and please me. So, But he'd take his pulse and he'd look at his watch. And I mean, thank goodness he didn't have a thermometer. He would have taken his temperature. But just because he had nothing else to do. But gradually he began to appreciate the music. And then when he once got on the board, when he was elected to the board and began to get involved, he became very interested. And that was such a pleasure for both of us. I think one of the ways that they can that people really feel they are involved is through the students. There are students, of course, as we know, that come from all over the world, and they're they have they're wonderfully talented, which is one way to attract uh, audiences because they these these kids are just fantastically well trained, and when they sit down after a day or so, they're all working together as a, as an orchestra and uh, they, they study the whole summer, but it's, and I think people really enjoy that aspect of it, and many times they invite them into their homes, it's, but it's, it's great to, to do that and to get to know them. And then there's the faculty, which is an outstanding faculty chosen from orchestras all over the country and the world also. They form a wonderful, wonderful orchestra for our Saturday night concerts. The students each have an orchestra. We, we have enough students that we can split them into two orchestras. Then there are the chamber music concerts. There's something going on every night of the week for a month. There is indeed something for everyone. And there are wonderful soloists who come in, uh, violinists, uh, trumpet players, uh, cellists, it's, they're wonderful, pianists. So there are all kinds of 
events and interesting things going on, and I think it's worth anybody's interest uh, and uh, time to come. I started out at age six studying the piano and did it for the next 13 years. But in the meantime, I studied voice, singing. But I never was in an orchestra. I never had much orchestra experience at all and didn't pay much attention to orchestras because solo music was my interest. But I think that, that over the years, I've learned to really appreciate orchestral music uh, to a greater degree, and it's, it's very fulfilling. One of the wonderful things about EMF is the, uh, the selection of music that, that we uh, have come to hear, that it's not just your typical Bach and Beethoven things, it's, it's other new composers and new music sounds, really, that uh, are very attractive to different people. And this, of course, will attract a new and different audience. I think that the musicians enjoy it because it gives them a greater challenge. The students love it because it's more to their liking in many ways and to the sounds that they like. And the audience uh, enjoys it because it's, it's an altogether new uh, experience for them. The basis of the festival, the whole reason raison d'etre is education, an educational, musical educational opportunity for a young person between the ages of 14 and 22. And they come here to Guilford College and they spend five weeks working very hard. I want to tell you that this is not for a slacker. This is for somebody who really wants to learn something and to be involved and to become better at what they're doing. That's the, the, the benefit of this whole thing.